Nadie, nadie, hoy está difícil. Esto. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Did you miss me? Me extrañaron. <risa> <risa> no me no, no me fue a la playa no Francisco, please <risa> no, I didn't go to the beach I wish <risa> I wish no. I didn't go to the beach no, no hello Rebeca hello Robert hello teacher good evening good evening, welcome Welcome, welcome. Promoción de Heineckers, dos por tres dólares. What? <laughs> Un anuncio, teacher, is, is a adver, adver, advertisement. It's advertisement. It's Friday and the body knows it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you said it. Hey Frida, hello. Teacher, teacher, yeah, hello, teacher. teacher you are you you are ready. Okay, uh, you change your hair color. I did. <laughs> no, because it's Friday and today after class, I don't know. <laughs> perhaps you're you're gonna visit some place. <laughs> you look great, teacher. I thank you very much. Thank you. With, with your new look. Thank you very much. Yes. Hi, hello, pretty. Faraday. Yay. You look good with your crown. It's a tiara. It's a tiara. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, thanks. Look cool. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, what do you say, Roberto? Sorry. Que hizo nuestra teacher. <laughs> ah, <cool. laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> I you, you can see it, but yeah. it's color purple now. Ah, uh, okay. You can see it, but it's purple. Yes, uh. it's my hair now. Cuando ande en la playa le va a brillar el morado. What color is? Purple. Purple. Yeah, oh. but it's like violet. Very dark. It's very dark. Really, really dark. So, this camera doesn't work very well, but if I use my cell phone the next, in the next okay. class, you will see. You will see. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to another class. Yesterday was vacation. <laughs> so, so let's get started with today's class. To start the class, we're going to have a quick review of questions because we are going to start the new unit. We're going to continue working with unit number three. Let me share my screen right now. And look, today the principal topic is telling the time. We're going to study expressions to tell the time in English. The objective is to ask for and say the time of activities at our workplace. It can be at work or activities in general, any kind of activities, right? Now, we're going to review WH questions. We're going to study the numbers. We are going to see expressions on how to tell the time. We're going to practice that. We are going to study prepositions of time and then questions. We are going to practice questions, but questions to ask about the time. So, order the following words. Number one, what is the question? Let's see, tell me, what is the question number one? When does she uh -huh. have classes? Exactly. When does she have classes? That's right. What are you asking in this question, Frida? Are you asking about time, people, places? Time. We're asking about the time. That's right. When does she have classes? Good. Question number two. Look. Question number two. What is it? 
That's our word key. What is it? What is it? Any other person? Or anyone? 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 That's where, where does is. he work? Where does he work? Okay. Where does he work? That's right. Ever, what are you asking in this case? Time About time, people, places? Places. You're asking about places. That's right. Because the question is with where. The next one, number four. Peter does that material why he use. That is in this order. What is the correct order? Why Anyone? does I does why use does. Peter that material? Why does Peter use Peter. that material? Very good. In this case, Sulma, what are you asking about? Reason. Reasons. Very good. We're asking about reasons. And the last one. Look, spaghetti is how prepared they does Carla. What is it? What is the question? Can you tell me? How does Carla? Does Carla mm -hmm. prepare the yes. spaghetti? How does Carla prepare the spaghetti? Look, we're asking about what in this question? Places, people, time, a process? Process. A process, right? We're asking about the process on how to make spaghetti, how to prepare spaghetti. This is what we have studied in the previous class. WH questions, auxiliary do and auxiliary does, depending on the subject. Today's topic is how to tell the time. So to start with this topic, we are going to take a look at numbers, okay? So we are going to watch a video right now. And please, on your end, just repeat the numbers on your end. Just let me show you the next thing. Okay, we are going to watch this video. Numbers from one to 100. Do you see the video? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, okay, great. Hello everyone, my name is Robin and welcome to the first video in the numbers series. All right, now we're going to talk about English numbers today and if you already know about English numbers, that's okay because this video is an excellent review. Uh, if you don't know about English numbers, it's time to learn. All right, so let's take a look. The first one here, zero. And if you notice next to zero, it has another name, O. Now, a lot of native speakers say zero, but more native speakers will just say O, okay? So this is very confusing to Korean students because when I say zero, when I say it as O, uh, many of my students hear O and they don't think of this number, they think of this number, five because in Korean, O means five, okay? So you gotta be very careful. In English, O means zero, okay? Let's move on to the next numbers. They're a little bit easier. Uh, listen to my pronunciation of each number. Okay, so the first one, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and don't forget zero and O, okay? 
Let's move on to the next set of numbers. Okay. Okay, so the first numbers are the basic, right? Basic, basic numbers. Oh, okay. So let's repeat. Everybody, please repeat. Everybody. One. One. Two. Two. two, two three. 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 Yeah. With the number three, be careful because it's three. 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 Right? Three. If you say three, you're talking about the tree. The tree. The big. The arable. Yes. Three. But in this one is three. three. Okay. Three. The next one is four. Four. Five. Five. five six, six. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. 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 And ten. And ten. ten. Now, with the number, the first number is zero. 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 You can say zero or you can say O. Oh. O. Oh. 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 So we have two possibilities zero, O. Oh. Okay. Let's continue with the next set. On to the next set of numbers. Okay, let's continue on with our numbers. I have the next set here, 11 until 20. All right, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, as you can see, I put the red line here on these ones because these are the teens, okay? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, all right? So you gotta be very careful with the teens because look at this, 20. Teen and T sound very similar, so it can be confusing. So this has to be teen and T. So 19 and 20. Okay, there's one more problem I want to talk about. That is 12 and 20. A lot of my students confuse the numbers 12 and 20. Be very careful. This is 12, 12, and this is 20. Don't confuse those numbers, please. All right, let's go through the pronunciation one more time. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's move on to some bigger numbers. Okay, the pronunciation of these numbers, right? Over here. So the first one is 11. Let's repeat 11. 11. The next one is 12. 12. 12. It's, it's, like a, it's like a letter F, como una S lleva ahí, 12. The next one is 13. 13. Again, again, be careful with the pronunciation because this is like this is 13. Look, it's like this, like a 13. 13. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say 13. Okay, 13. 13 sería como si fuera una T, pero no, es una 13. 13. Okay, the next one is 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
he focused on the pronunciation of teen and t. 14, 15, 20. It's, it's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit different. In this case, from number 11 to 19, it's like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The pronunciation is a little bit different. Let's listen to the next numbers. Let's move on to some bigger numbers. Okay, so let's continue with the numbers from 20 to 100. We've already studied 20. Well, what comes after 20? 21. And we can see how I spell it. 20, and we have to put this, this is a hyphen, 1. 21. And after 21, 22. Again with the hyphen. And after 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then it continues again. 31, 32, 33, all the way to 40. And then 41, 42. It continues this until 100. Okay? So let's just focus on the tens right now. Now the first two, we already know, we know 10 and 20. Now let's take a look at these. So of course, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, this is 100 but it can also be pronounced a hundred, okay? Both are okay. Uh, I want to talk about 40 again. Now the spelling of 40, uh, a lot of my students see the four, so when they spell 40, they spell it F-O-U-R-T-Y. This is wrong, okay? You have to spell it F-O-R-T-Y. That's 40, all right? So that's the numbers from 20 to 100. Let's do some extra pronunciation practice for E Y. Spell 40. They now the spelling of 40 is 100, 20, and 41, 42. Okay, I'm going to play again this part, and I want you to repeat. Repeat with this man. Okay, he's gonna say 10, you say 10, 20, 20. So you repeat with the boy, please. Okay. Continues this until 100. Okay, so let's just focus on the tens right now. Now, the first two we already know, we know 10 and 20. Now, let's take a look at these. So, of course, 30, 40, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40. 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, and then, this is 30. Y 13, ¿cómo se dice? 13. 13. 13. Ah, okay. 13. 13. This one is 30. 30. 30. 40. 30. 40. 40. 50. 50. 60. 60. 70. 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90 100. 100. 100. So you can say 100 or you can also say 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. That is possible. 100, 100. Now he says that he wants to do a short exercise. So let's listen to this boy and let's do the exercise with him. He's going to say some numbers and you have to take notes, write, 
you can write in the chat. Okay, you can write in the chat of Zoom. He's going to say some numbers and you write. He's going to tell you the correct answer as well. Okay. 100, but it can also be pronounced a hundred. Okay, both are okay. Uh, I want to talk about 40 again. Now the spelling of 40, uh, a lot of my students see the four. So when they spell 40, they spell it F-O-U-R-T-Y. This is wrong, okay? You have to spell it F-O-R-T-Y. That's 40, all right? So that's the numbers from 20 to 100. Let's do some extra pronunciation practice right now. All right, I know you need extra practice with these numbers, okay? These numbers are difficult and confusing because they sound very similar. And a lot of my students have problems uh, pronouncing these numbers correctly, and it makes me confused sometimes. All right, and I have one story. Uh, a few years ago, I made an appointment, or actually a date, with a girl. And we were supposed to meet uh, at 5.50. That's what she told me. Let's meet at 5.50. So I went to the meeting place at 5.50, but she wasn't there, okay? So I waited and waited. She never came. And then the next time I saw her, I said to her, you know, why didn't you show up? I was waiting at 5.50. And she said, yeah, I was waiting there too, but you never came. And I was very confused. Well, it turns out that she said 5.15, but it sounded to me like 5.50, okay? So we were both confused of the time. Well, she was there at 5.15, I was there at 5.50, and we never met, okay? So it's very important to get the, the numbers right and don't confuse them. So let's review. Of course, these are the teens. So this is 13, and this is 30. 13, 30. 14, 40. 15, 50. 16, 60. 17, 70. 18, 80. 19, 90. Okay, make sure you get those right and pronounce them correctly so you don't have confusion like me. All right, uh, before we go, we are going to do a, a listening test with numbers. So you should get a pen and some paper and listen carefully. I'm going to say the number. You should write down the number. Good luck. All right, so for this test, you should have some paper or something just to write down what you hear. So I'm going to say a number and you should think of that number or write that number down. All right, let's start. Number one, the first number is seven. Seven. Okay, that's easy. You should have this. Number two, 13. 13. Okay, so it's Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Write the number in the chat. Okay. Good, good. I'm going to stop the video in each number so that you have time. Okay. That's easy. You should have this. Number two, 13, 13, okay, so it's 13. Look, 13, 13, look, the second one, 13, and in the chat, I see 30. That is the number 30, and actually the number is 
13. Let's listen to number three. Number three, 75. 75. Okay, so. That 75. Okay, good. That's a big number, 75. Yes, number it, four. Number four. 20. 20. Okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. It's number 20. Yeah. Okay, you should write this 20. 20 or 20. You and could say 20 or 20. 19. 19. Okay. He repeats just two times. 19. Okay, looks like this. And number 6. Next. 66, 66, okay, so this is 66. Oh, I show you the number. <laughs> I show you the answer. 66, very good, that's the number. Number seven, 33. That's right. Very good. 33. Good, good, good. Okay, you should write 33. Number 8. 90. 90. <laughs> yes, good, good. Okay, so this is 90. 90. Number 9, 12. 12. Okay, so you should write 12. <laughs> the number 12. Yes, even though you are going to use the letter V in this number, the pronunciation is 12, like an F, 12. And the last one, number 10. And the last one, listen carefully, 21. 21. Yes, very good, very, very good, 21. All right, so you should write 21. Yes, you got it. Very good. You got most of the numbers. Good, good. So, everybody, tell me. Number one, what is it? Tell me, tell Seven. me. Okay, Seven. that's Seven. right. Seven, super easy. Number two? Seven. Thirteen. 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 Number three? Thirteen. Seventy-five. 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 Five. That's right. Seventy-five. Number four? Twenty. 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 Eh, you, can, you, you can say twenty or you can say twenty. That's okay. Twenty. 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 And that's fine. Number five. Nineteen. 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 Very good. Nineteen. Good, good. Number six. Nineteen. Six. 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 Thirty-three. <laughs> Number 
That's okay. Number nine. Twelve. Twelve. Very good pronunciation. Twelve. Like yeah, like an F, like an F at the end. Twelve. Okay. Number ten. Twenty-one. 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 Very good. Twenty-one. Good. Good. Okay. Now that you know the numbers in English. Now that you know the numbers, we are going to practice again with another listening activity. So in this activity... I hope activity, you did well on the listening. On this activity, it's a dictation activity. Dictation, okay? So again, again, let's use the chat to write the answers. Or, no, you know what? I'm going to share this link with you. It's better if I, if I share this with you guys. So here in the chat, open the link if you can. Open the link here in the chat. You will be directed to this website, English Club Dictation Numbers. You will be directed to this. Okay. So I'm gonna play the recording. Okay. You just complete the exercise. I will play the recording. So in this activity, what you have to do is, it's, it's pretty simple. You have to listen. Listen to the person say some numbers in a full sentence. And you have to write, here it says, you can write on paper or in this box. So over here you can write a number or the quantity that you listen. So let's listen to number one. If you want to use the chat of Zoom, that's okay. Okay, too. So let's listen to the first one. I'm gonna play just five of them, just five recordings. Let me check something. Oh, yeah. The phone number here is 467-8876. Again. The phone number here is 467-8876. And the last time. The phone number here is 467-8876. So the number is, tell me, tell me. Four, six, seven, Four, six, eight, 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 seven, six. Eight, eight, seven, six. Eight, eight, seven, six. Okay, eight. good, good. Next. Let's listen to the next one. Your total bill is $49.12. Your total bill is $49.12. She mentions dollars and cents. Dollars and cents. One more time. Your total bill is $49.12. Your total bill is $49.12, period. Okay, so we have two options in this website. On the first option, you are going to listen at a normal speed, like a nor somebody talking. Your total bill is $49.12. And then in the second option, you can listen again, but at a low speed, like low for you to understand. So in this case, the bill is, tell me the number, please, because I don't know the number. $49.12. Exactly. $49.12. Very good. 
Let's listen to the next one. Number three. Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, comma, did you say 17 or 70? Question mark. right that's right okay very good yes she mentioned the two numbers or the two quantities right just to make sure that you, that she heard correctly so the first option is what is 17 okay 17 or 70 70 okay so you see the difference in pronunciation? 1770. Okay, let's listen to number four. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. Now she mentioned thousand, thousand. Thousand is, la, is mil, okay? 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000. So let's listen one more time. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. September 21st, 2001. That's right, yes. The two numbers are, the first quantity they mention is September 20? 23rd. Exactly. 21st. We haven't studied this, of course. No hemos visto esto todavía, right? When we talk about the dates, cuando hablamos de fechas, usamos los números, los ordinal numbers. First. First in Spanish is primero, right? So that's why we have over here 21st. And then for years, she said 2000, 2001, right? 2001. 1000. 2000. 1000. Okay, this is how you use 1000. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. 2001, right? And let's listen to the last one. Oh, this one is about letters. Okay, no, no, let's omit this one because it's gonna take time. My license plate is B2. Okay, no, we are going to finish on that. So she is talking about numbers, right? This, this activity was to practice numbers. Why are we studying numbers? We are studying numbers because to talk about the time, we need to know the numbers. Like, what time is it in this moment? What time is it now? What do you tell me? What time is it, guys? ¿Qué hora es? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hora es? So in this moment, what time is it? Nine. The hour is nine, nine, nine ten. Nine, okay. It's nine, nine and ten. Nine and ten. Nine and ten. Or nine and ten. Or ten plus nine is another option. But we are going to see. Look, the question is, the question that you are going to make is, what time is it? What time is it? Look, 
This question, this question is to ask about the time right now. Ask about the time in this moment. What time is it? Look at the options. Oh, it's seven o'clock. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. What time is it? It's 9.30. And in parentheses, we have the, the, the time in numbers. We are going to use it's in these answers. We're going to use it's in these answers. Look, because we are just asking about the time in this moment. All, you are always going to use this. It's, it's and then the time. It's seven o'clock. It's 9.30, it's, uh, right now it's 9 and 10, it's 9 and 20 minutes, for example. So we are going to use it. But the question is, what time is it? And you are asking about the time in this moment. Look at the next one. In the next case, or in the next question, we are going to use the auxiliary do, do or does, depending on the subject. The question is, what time do you, and then an activity. What time do you, and then an activity, okay? So this question is used to ask about a specific time of an activity, a specific time of an activity. For example, go to school. Go to school is an activity, in parentheses, routine. It's a routine that we have, go to school, go to work, um, finish work, take a shower, watch TV, go to the movies, for example. The question, the complete question will be, what time do you go to school? What time do you go to school? Look, what time, auxiliary do, subject you, and then the activity. Look at the other routine that we have. Check your email. In parentheses, it's another routine or another activity. So, the complete question will be, what time do you check your email? You're asking about an activity and about a specific time of that activity. To answer, look, how are you going to answer? You are going to use at in the answer. For example, can you help me ever to read this information, please? What time do you go to a school? I go to a school at uh, 7 30. 30. 30? 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what time do you check your email? I check my email at 9 a.m. every day. Thank you. Okay, so we're asking about activities in a specific time, and we are going to use at. Look, at. At 7 30? at 9 a.m. In this case, you are telling me the, the specific time for an activity. And in the other case, you are telling me the time right now. What time is it? What time is it in this moment? Oh, teacher, it's nine and 12 minutes. It's nine and 12 minutes right now. But in the other one is what time do you? What time do you, for example, um, what time do you go to work, Oscar? What time do you go to work, Oscar? I go to work at 18. You go to work at? 18 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay, Oscar goes to work at 8 a.m. Look. What about you, Eunice? Eunice, what time do you go to work? I go to work at 8.30 a.m. 8.30. Okay, very good. Rebecca, what time do you finish work, Rebecca? Uh, I finish to work at 6 p.m. Okay, perfect. Eric, what time do we finish the class, the English class? What time do we finish the English class? 
Do you finish I, at? I finish because we finish the class at 10 p.m. PM. PM. Okay, we finish the class at 10 p.m. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Rosa, Rosa, what time do you finish work? I finish work at 5 p.m. Hey, thank you. Okay, so we are using the preposition at to talk about those activities in a specific time. Can you help me please to read this information, Francisco? Use does. Okay. Yeah. Use does when the subject is her or she. What time does she finish work? She finishes work at 4.30 p.m. What time does Marvin send reports? He sends reports at 5 p.m. every day. Thank you very much. Pronunciation, 30. 30. 30. Yes, I, I, I know that this is the most difficult word to pronounce when we talk about time. 30. 30. Okay, let's see. So it, this is the case of the auxiliary does, right? When, when the subject is he or she. What time does he? What time does she? What time does Marvin? What time does the teacher? What time does old car or does Roberto, for example? Tell in the time. Look at the expressions that we can use to tell the time. Look, this is really, really important to know these expressions to tell the time. Can you help me please, Emperatriz, to read these expressions? Okay. Tell the time. It's a clock. It's five past. It's ten past. It's a quarter past. Yep. It's twenty twenty past. Mm -hmm. It's twenty five past. It's half past. It's twenty five to mm -hmm. it's twenty two. It's a quarter to it's ten to yep. it's five to yes. Thank you, Imperatriz. Thank you, thank you. Here we have the expressions to tell the time. Look, we have a clock, past, half past, and two. Complete examples. Look, look at the bottom. We have these complete examples. Here we're having numbers. What time is it? It's two o'clock. What time is it? It's five past two. It's 10 past two. It's quarter past two. It's 20 past two. It's 25 past two. Look, past. It's half past two. If you don't want to say, ah, it's 2.30, 2.30. If you don't want to say it's 2.30, you can say it's half past two, half. Half past two, half past three, half past four. Look at the next one. It's 25 to three. I, I would say it's 235. That is that is what I would say. Yo diría 235, no 25 to three, but that is up to you. The next one, it's 22 three. Esto es como decir, faltan 20 para las tres. 22 three. Look at the other one. It's quarter to three. Two. Ahora estamos usando two. Quarter to three. The next one. It's ten to three. It's five to three. Okay. So in the first part, we have past. On the next side, we have two. 
a quarter past two, a quarter to three. Do you understand these expressions? Are the expressions clear? Or do you have questions about this? Have to tell me, no questions? It's clear? It's clear. Okay. Okay, Mr. Perfect. Teacher. Yes? Uh, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, Se puede usar como it's quarter pass? Hoy también, it's a quarter pass. Con la A y sin la A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Yes, you can say A ah or no. Personally, in my in my case, I prefer to say it's a quarter to, it's a quarter pass. I prefer to use the, that word, yeah. But it's up to you if you want to use it or not. Okay, so... Practice. Let's practice a quarter to and a quarter past. You tell me, what time is it? Look at the screen. What time is it? It's, it's one. one. Pass. one. Okay, we, we, we have different options, right? Okay. 15 past 1, 1.15, and if you want to use quarter, a quarter to, or a, uh, or a quarter pass. Quarter pass. Quarter, 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 quarter pass. pass. Exactly. It's a quarter, quarter past one. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. What time is it? It's a quarter it's past a quarter ten. Past ten. A quarter past ten. A quarter past ten, okay? Fifteen past ten. <laughs> Fifteen past ten. A quarter past ten. Look, two options. Ten fifteen. Or ten fifteen. Very good. That's another option. Ten fifteen. Next. What time is it? It's a quarter. A quarter before two. A quarter before two. A quarter before two. We have different options. Okay. It's a quarter two. Three. Exactly. Two, three. Two, three. It's a quarter to three, two forty five. Uh, 15 before yeah. 3 says Roberto <laughs> we have many options but we can say it's a quarter to 3 the next it's one good. what time is it it's a quarter, a quarter to, one. to, one. Two, one. to one exactly a quarter, a quarter to one. 1 quarter to 1 if, if you don't want to say a quarter to 1 it is 12.45 right so you have two different options. Now, yes. what time is it? It's uh, 8.30. 8.30 uh, <laughs> uh, or? Eight, 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 and eight, and eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. You can say 8.30, eight, eight and a half, or you can say a half past eight. A half, a half past, past eight. eight. That is the other option, right? A half mm. past eight. Next. Oh, half. Half before nine. No, Roberto, come on, come on. Half before <laughs> nine, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, look at the next one. What time is it? Or, or if possible, or if possible. Uh, a quarter to one. A quarter to one. A quarter to one. Next. It's a you can say it's 427. 427. Yeah. Or you can say it's 20, 27 past 4. That's okay. Or it's 427. Look, the next one. What time is it? It's quarter past 1. Uh, quarter one. past 1. That's right. One. Or 1. 1. 15. Correct. So 15 past 
<laughs> a quarter past one, one fifteen. The next one is two fifty. It's two fifty, but what is another option? Is ten to ten three. To three. three. Exactly. Ten to three. Three. Or 250. 10 to 3 or 250. And the last one? What time is it? 10 to 3. Exactly. Uh, 10 and a half. 10 and a half. 10 30. Uh, or a half past a half, uh, 10. A half past 10. That's right. Those are the different time expressions that we can use, okay? Pass in two. Okay, now in the manual, we are going to find this information. Just let me look for the manual. Let's see, in the manual. Let, let me confirm the page. Let me confirm. This information is on page 33 in the manual. Page 33 in the manual. Okay, if you if you can open the manual, please go to page 33. Over here we have a kind of agenda or schedule of a girl. Okay, look. This is Mrs. Robles' agenda. Here we have some time expressions and activities. 7.15 or a quarter past seven in one activity. Look, 8.30 in one activity. Nine o'clock in one activity. And then we have three questions. Look, read the information and answer the questions. We have three different questions. What time is the video call? What time does she, uh, does the workshop start? What time does the company close? So right now, I want you to read this information, read the agenda of Mr. M Mrs. Robles, and then answer the questions in activity three. To do this activity, I will ask you to work in groups, okay? Work in groups to practice, read, 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 this information and let's move on to a different room okay let's work in groups read and complete the exercise please join the meetings Okay. 
Yeah. The training is a video call with his company. Okay, take turns to read. Take turns to read. Um, maybe Eric, you can read the first activity. Then Eunice the second activity, Rebecca the third one. Take turns to read. Okay? Okay. Para que todos participen, right? Usted, eh, Eric, lea la primera hora y la actividad. Okay. And then Eunice and then Rebecca. Okay. Awesome. Seven. Eh, falta falta uno Roberto falta uno sí. cuántos somos aquí ahora <risa> vale. dice send tomorrow schedule to Miss López new secretary and leave yes dice la primera pregunta web time in the video Video call with the web company. Mm -hmm. Dicen que it's a quarter. Pass. Quarter. Yo me así se escribe quarter. Seven. Quarter. Where are quarter? Are. Quarter. 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 U-A-R-T-E-R. -E it's a quarter. Quiero ver a qué hora es. Después de la Ah, no, pero para, pero para empezar no es a esa hora. It's a 8.30. <laughs> it's a 8.30. Ah, or at. At. Oh, no, se, okay. me comí, me lo comí. At. <laughs> at. 8.30. Right. 30. Or, or eight, eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half, yes. And, okay, what time? Does the workshop with the research department start? Um, it's at... It's at... Um, nine o'clock. Oscar, you are alone. <laughs> Hello, you don't have a partner. <laughs> Hello. You don't have a partner. Okay. No I... miraba nada. <laughs> yes, no, no partner. Moisés no, 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 no le dio join. Vale, lo voy a enviar a otro grupo. Okay. I will send you to another group. Give me a second. Let me see. Ahorita lo voy a mover. Oscar. No sabía nada, 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 mira. <laughs> es que no hay, no hay nadie más. That's why. I'm going to... <laughs> okay, okay. Fue 55, no sé cómo decirlo. Fue decir 5 to 6. Five to six, send tomorrow. Schedule. 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 To Ms. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. 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 Okay. Uh, Oscar. Oscar was alone ever in another group. Oscar was alone. And I was like, what happened? Okay. What happened here? It's welcome. It's welcome to here. <laughs> Hello. Alcancé a escuchar a Oscar ahí. Oscar, it's your turn. Ever is going to give you instructions. Listen to us. Listen to Ever. Okay, tell him. Uh, what? 
and three. Tell him sí, ever. Eh, uh -huh. eh, pero en español le voy a decir. No, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Please, please read uh, the Mrs. Ro Mr. Robles uh, agent or agenda? Agenda. 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 Please, please read. Okay. Uh, it's meeting by the marketing department. Hey, the teacher, the teacher, be Hello. careful. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not gonna no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything, teacher. Mm, in my absence? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Only that you look great. My new look. <laughs> 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 yes, se me fue el rojizo. Bon. Yo dije, me equivoqué, me equivoqué de reunión. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ya, ya no aguantaba ese color. Eso, ese. Yo decía que era rubio y era rojizo, no sé, anaranjado casi. Orange. Otra <laughs> <Like a> mes. <laughs> Okay, you finish, right? Right. Yes. Finish. Okay, great, great. In number one, what time is it in the first in the first activity? What time is the first activity? Tell me the time. At eight. At eight and a half. The first one, meeting with the marketing department. What time is it? Ah. Uh, Seventy. A quarter, a quarter past seven. A quarter past seven. Yeah, you can say it's a quarter past seven. That's right. Uh, Rosa, what about the next activity? What time is the video call with the supervisor? It's eight uh, thirty. It's at eight thirty. Thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. Or what is the other option, Rosa? Do you remember the other option? Uh, it's thirty. Past eight. Thirty past thirty past eight, or you can also say half or, past. Uh huh. Half past. Uh -huh. oh, oh, or también sería eh, thirty. Eh, bueno, no sé. Como media hora para las nueve, no se puede también. Eh, yeah, I think it's possible. Creería que sí, but. But, yes, teacher, all is possible. Eh, eh, Roberto, yes, all is possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all is possible. Yeah, all is possible. Everything, everything, not all. Everything is possible. Every, every. Everything, everything is possible. However, the most common expression would be 8.30 or half past 8. That would be the most common. Yeah. Sunma, what about the workshop? What time is it? Nine at nine o'clock, right? Nine o'clock uh -huh. at nine o'clock. Roberto, what about the workshops lunch? At at twelve, twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock, very good. There is another option in this case. If you don't want to say twelve o'clock, you can say at, at midday. Noon. You can say midday, uh huh, midday, or you can also say at noon. At, at, noon. Noon. at noon. Yes, that is another option. At midday or at noon. At mid, I mean. Yeah, midday. that that is the case of twelve p.m. And then if you talk about twelve a.m., you can say midnight. That would midnight. be another option. Midnight. Yes. Okay, Roberto, what time is the second part of the workshop? Uh, one forty-five or a quarter, quarter to quarter, quarter before two. Quarter before two or a quarter to two? A quarter to two. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, quarter to two, yeah. <laughs> 
Every, everything is possible. <laughs> everything is possible. A quarter yeah. to two. Yes. Let's see, Rosa, what about the last one? What time is the, what time is she going to send? Let's catch up. It's, it's, uh, uh, Seria. Fifty, no, sí, fifty five, eh, past five. Fifty five past five, yes, or you can say it's easier, it's easier to say it's five fifty five. Uh, or también it's a uh, quarter eh, two six. En lugar de quarter sería five. It's five to uh, six. Ah, uh, sí, 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 son cincuenta y cinco, perdón. <laughs> yeah, five to six, yes. Five to six. That's right. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Talking yes, about the, talking, talking about, about the, 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 the time. time. Yes. How do you, how you felt that the, the weather have changed? The weather has Because changed? I, I, Yes, chained. A lot. Why, why, why are you asking me that? Because in this week I, I have feel, I have felt that, like a uh, Christmas. <laughs> the air, the air, <laughs> the sun. I got it. You know everything. Yes, yes, sometimes, but it's because it's October already, so yes, the weather has to change, has to be different. <laughs> but that well, that well, with that weather, whether I remember when I was starting, when <sighs> I was finished my 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 test, my exam, memories, my five, my <laughs> scores. My poor oh, score. Your poor scores. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I know. Memories, <laughs> memories. Yeah, come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Or, or is sad, teacher. I know, Roberto. No. <laughs> Don't be sad. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't be sad. Don't be I'm sad. I'm going to try. You are nostalgic right now. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, since we finished, let's go back to the principal group, okay? Please, please. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hello, hello. Finish? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. If you finish, you can return to the principal group, okay? okay? Go okay. back. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Yes, Rebecca. Eh, en la cuestión número two, ¿a uh, qué se está refer haciendo referencia? Las la respuestas son eh, solo el tiempo o específicamente hay que ponerle a qué se está haciendo referencia. Okay, let me see. What time does, does the workshop? The workshop means el taller, el taller de o el entrenamiento. The workshop with the research department. They are talking about the workshop. The workshop with the research department. Todo eso es el sujeto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They are talking oh, okay. about, están hablando de a qué horas, a qué horas empieza el taller con el research department. Entonces ahí en lugar de poner she, ahí tienen que poner the workshop, the workshop. Uh -huh. The workshop starts with this. Starts mm -hmm. at nine o'clock. Yeah, because the subject is the uh, workshop. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then number three. Look at number three. Number three says, What time does the company? What is the subject? The company. Exactly. The company. subject is the company. Mm hmm the company closes very good you're talking about one company closes very good 
Number one, what time? Look at number one. What time is the video call? Video call. Right? So the subject is? Video. The video call. Video. Mm -hmm. The video call is at. Is. Just is. Is. No. Is. Mm -hmm. Is. Yeah, that's right. Is at. At 8.30. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So look at the subjects. Casi siempre el sujeto va después del auxiliar. Y en este, en este caso el sujeto no es personas, sino actividades. Right? The video o sea que the la respuesta siempre tiene que ser con el, con el, suje, con la, con el sujeto. Sí, dependiendo Lo que se está haciendo referencia. Yes, dependiendo del sujeto del que se habla. Yes, yes. Ok. okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's return. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me check the attendance very quickly. Okay, please turn on the cameras and microphones. Please, please. Cameras and microphones. Carlos Alexander Aquino. <coughs> Eric Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Eber Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Morales. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Rita Mejia. Present. Thank you. Irene Villeda. Present. Thank you. Jose Martínez, Jose Raúl Ernesto Martínez. Emperatriz Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Kevin Funes. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Moisés Eduardo Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Oscar Castro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Pedro Tobar. Rebeca Cabrera. Present. Thank you, Rebeca. Rosa Luz Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Ruth Eunice Mejía. Present. Thank you, Eunice. Zulma García. Present. Thank you. And Roberto Melara. Present. Thank you, Robert. Okay, so we were talking about the agenda of Mrs. Robles, right? Mrs. Robles' agenda. She is explaining what she does every day. So, Rebecca, can you help me with the first activity, please? What is it? Read seven, the information. Mm -hmm. Seven fifteen meeting with the marketing department. 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 Thank you. Eunice Mejia, what about the next activity? Eight. Titi. Video call with the supervisor from West Company. That's right. Thank you. Oscar, can you help me with the next activity, please? Night workshop to the research and develop development development department to improve the manufacturing process. To improve. Improve. Yes. To improve. Thank you. 12 o'clock workshops lunch. Rosa, can you help me with the next one? Um, it's a uh, quarter to two, 
second part of the workshop. That's right. And the next one, uh, can you help me, Sulma, please, with the last activity? Yes, it's a uh, five to six. Send tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary, and leave. That's right. Thank you. So these are the activities that she has in the agenda. Look at the question number one. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time is the video call? It's at 8.30. Uh, it's at 8.30. Eight. Very good. Eight or and a half. 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 Eight and a half. Or a half past eight or eight and a half, right? What time does the workshop with the research department start? At nine. At nine, nine, o'clock. nine o'clock. Very good. Nine o'clock. What time does the company close? Uh, five, 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 or five to six. Five fifty-five or five to six. At five fifty-five. Exactly. Very good, Frida. The complete sentence it closes at five fifty-five. Yes. Okay, so this is the information related to the time. That's why I was telling you that that was the focus today. Look on the next page in the manual. We have more, more questions and expressions that we can use. Can you help me, Isabel, with the information here in this chart? What time and the answers, please. One time is. It is. It's one eight. One type does to mating start. It start at eleven o'clock. One time to to your arrival at work about six forty eight a.m. One time to do ambulance level usually around seven or. Seven thirty. Okay, thank you very much. Just pronunciation in question number three. Arrive. 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 Exactly. Arrive. At Arrive work. at work. Yes. 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 Thanks. And employees. 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 Yes. Okay. So. Sorry. Look estar temprano en la clase entonces no entiendo mucho ahorita lo de la hora pero lo voy a ver eh, luego y ya ah, ok igual les, les yo les subo la presentación ya donde dice semana 3 la presentación de powerpoint okay. donde sale la hora ya yeah. okay. gracias ok you're welcome all right so look look at the expressions that we have over here si la pregunta es what time is it what time is it the answer is it's, y luego la hora. It's, and then the time. But then, if the question is, what time do you, what time does, and then an activity, then the answer is going to have the preposition at. At, or you can also look at the other expression, at about, around, at about, around, and then the time expression. In this case, it's like, ah, alrededor de las cinco y media. Por ahí por las siete, por ahí por las ocho. That is, that would be the meaning in Spanish of about and around. If we are talking about the time. Now, in this case, it's one. Look at this one. What time is it? It's one. In this case, we are going to say it's one oh eight. Okay. One oh eight. We have to mention the zero in this case. In this case, okay, it's one o eight. That is how you're going to say the time in this case. Another example can be: imagine that you have this one, and the question is, "What time is it?" How do you answer? Two, five, five, two, o five. Two, o five. Yeah. We can say this, it's 205 or ever mentioned, it's five past, five past two. Yeah, 
That is the other option. Five past two. Or it's 2.05. You have to mention this O. Okay. 2.05. Oh. Yes, yes. Esto solo es en el caso de, de las dos, dos y una, dos, 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 tres, dos, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Ya luego es 2.10, right? 2.10, 2.20, 2.15. Two, two, okay, so now help me to complete this. We have an exercise, a short exercise. Complete the questions using what time and do or does. Practice. Look, conversation number one. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? How do you complete the space over here? What time does? What time start? What time? Okay. What time does it start? Does it start? What time does, does it, it start? Okay, what time does it start? Yes. No, okay. se, no sería do. No. no. Uh -huh. it, uh, it's a uh, reclutador. Yeah. It's a recruitment. Una, eh, un reclutamiento es ahí. Un reclutamiento de nuevos empleados. Recruitment. Okay. Yes. So, and besides, look. Además, aquí está el it en la pregunta. Look, it start. That's why we have the auxiliary does. Okay. Ah, and the answer is it starts at 9 a.m. Look at the other one. Number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. How can we complete this? What time do you do you arrive? Exactly. What time do you arrive? Correct. Number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What is it? Me too. What time does the photocopy center? What time do does. Does it. That's right. The subject is it. What time does the photocopy center open? Photocopy center. El centro de fotocopias, right? It's only one. Una. It's only one place. Uh -huh. They are talking about one place, so the auxiliary is does. Look at the answer. Y en la respuesta también tenemos it. Look, it opens. Number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? What is yeah. the answer? Yes, but uh, time to yes. start. What, what time does? Oh. What time oh, wow. do or does? Do because it's results in plural. She. Exactly. Look, auxiliary do because restaurants is el sujeto y restaurants is plural. Restaurants. What time do restaurants close? I get a cierre en los restaurantes. Number five, look. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And... What time do? Okay. Exactly. Okay. What time do? do? The subject is? They. 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 Exactly. The subject is they, so the auxiliary is? do what time do they open now i sent you a video i shared a video i, I shared a video les compartí un video donde está lo del simple present watch it please veanlo porque ahí sale lo de do does don't doesn't the explanation is in english and in spanish creo que duró como 15 minutos watch it it's really really good with the simple present to see the different subjects the different pronouns the different auxiliaries so we okay. finish, we finish for today, guys. We finish. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Please take a look at this information. Estudian estas páginas, la 33 y 34 in the manual. Okay. Talk about the time. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. I okay. hope to see you the next Monday. Have a nice weekend.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.